What's up guys? I am here bringing you all a quick tutorial video on my current favorite and preferred DS emulator. I do not use DS in Mume any longer. I currently use Melon DS. This is a fantastic emulator. It works great. It's simple. And I believe it's actually more accurate in a lot of ways than DS Mume. So first of all, you will need to grab the emulator. I'll provide the link in the description. I am on Windows, so that is what I will be performing all of these examples on, but I imagine it is very similar, if not identical, on Linux and Mac. So, just going to download this into a folder. It comes as a 7-zip file, so you may need 7-zip to extract this. But before we do that, you will also need the BIOS files for the DS. That is something that you do not need for DS Mume, but you do need for Melon DS, and it's not really too bad. You're just going to download some files, and it's just a little bit of extra setup. So. Go to this next link that I will provide in the description. Go to Nintendo DS slash DSi. As you can see here, optional for DS Mume, but required for Melon DS. All we're going to do is click this right here, DS BIOS files and firmware. Click that, it will bring us to a download link. We're gonna click download, it takes a quick moment, and I'm going to download that to the same folder just for ease of access as the Melon DS download. As you can see, we now have two 7-zip files I'm going to extract both of them. Melon DS is just the EXE. There's no other files that come with it. It is just the EXE. I can go ahead and delete the original 7-zip if I so desire. And then we have the BIOS files. So just going to extract that as well. And those are all the files that you'll need to get going. So just going to delete that extra 7-zip. This is what you should have. I would keep these in the same folder just to make things simple and easy. I'm going to open up Melon DS and there we go. This is Melon DS. As you can see, it does create an INI file. That is where your settings are saved to. So don't delete that if you would like all of your settings to save. As we bring this to full screen here, you will need to do a BIOS file setup. You only need to do this one time. You never need to do this again. Go to config, MU settings, DS mode, and then you have these three files that we are going to select. So go to browse. And since we extracted the BIOS files into the same folder as the Melon DS EXE. It's just right here. It's easy. You don't really have to find it. If you didn't extract it in a different place, then you'll just need to find where it is. So yeah, we did the ARM9 one. So we're going to do BIOS 9. Very easy. You just select the file. For the DS ARM7 BIOS, just browse BIOS 7. And for DS firmware, you just go to firmware.bin. So pretty simple, right? ARM9 is BIOS 9. ARM7 is BIOS 7. And then the DS firmware is just firmware.bin. So literally all we're doing is just selecting the files that we just downloaded. That's all. It's really just that simple. So if you wanted to, you could just start playing now. But before you do, I do have some settings that I would like to show you that are my preference and maybe will be of interest to you. So first of all, if you go to system, you can enable cheats. This is nice if you have any action replay codes for quality of life or if you're doing some crazy challenge run that uh, does have some cheat codes for faster HP bars in a Pokemon game or whatever may have you. Whenever you do launch your game, you'll just need to go to set up cheat codes. So that's good to know that that exists. And now onto some actual settings. So first of all, we have video settings. My preference is to change the 3D renderer to OpenGL. Now, what's nice about OpenGL is that this gets you that 3D upscaling option if you so desire, and actually quite a bit more than DS Mume offers. You can go all the way up to 16 times native upscaling for anything that is 3D inside of your game. Now, you know, do what your computer will allow you to do. I realize that there's really not much of a difference in my experience from, say, for example, 10 times native to 16 times native. So you could just keep it at four times or, you know, see what looks good. Also, sometimes improved polygon splitting has led to some higher quality results for me as well. Aside from that, input and hotkeys, of course, if you would like to set your controls. You could use a controller with this as well. And if you're looking to speed up your gameplay, you're going to want to go to general hotkeys. And that is where you can set your fast forward hotkey to if you are into that kind of thing. So with that being said, I'm going to open ROM and back in our original folder, we should have Pokemon Platinum. It just magically appeared. I forgot that I deleted that file uh, when I was making this tutorial. I had to uh, migrate it back here. So yeah, Pokemon Platinum. Just going to open this up as a test 
And as you can see here, it launches nice and easy peasy. So with that being said, what I like to do here is mess with the video settings a little bit uh, in terms of the screen format. So I prefer to have my screen layout as horizontal, having the screens side by side. That's just what I like. You can do whatever you want for that. And the other thing I do is emphasize top. This makes it so the top screen is bigger than the bottom screen. Depends on the game that you're playing. Some games are more suited for a vertical layout versus a horizontal layout and vice versa. Maybe the bottom screen is more important. But as you can see here, we have that beautiful 3D upscaling when you do uh, that open gel option. And you can see it goes as high as 16 times. Look at that, that is just incredible. So either way, those are the settings that I like to mess with. And there's definitely a lot that you could still mess with, but those are just some of the basics. I hope this was helpful. If it was, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you like Pokemon content, then I make a lot of it on Twitch. So definitely check me out on Twitch for Pokemon speedruns. I do a lot of Pokemon speedruns, including the DS games. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you all, and I will see you next time. Bye.